Hey guys, my name is Liam. You are watching Jeep Sheep TV. I am standing here with Mike Early and he has built something. Actually, he made me a little bit mad because I wanted to build one of these so bad. And then he did it. And actually, he did it so much better than I ever could. So I'm not mad at all. This is a postal Jeep thing and it's kind of special, but I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to let Mike tell you all about it. So Mike, here's the microphone. All right. Hey, I'm Mike Early. This is my 1965 uh, FJ6A. It is a uh, postal van. So I got this thing uh, from my in-laws. It was a shed on their farm for about, probably about 35 years. Um, about 10 years ago, I said, if you guys ever get rid of that thing, it's so ugly, it's cool. I want to do something with it. And she called me about two years ago and said, hey, if you want this thing, you better come get it or it's going to the scrapyard. We brought it home, sat behind the garage for about six months and we tore into it. Uh, we pulled the body off the frame. Did a four link in the rear, Mustang two front cross member. It's sitting on air ride. Uh, it has a twin turbo 4.8 liter LS motor in it, 4L80E. Up here on the front, we got the uh, turbos tucked in here next to the headlights. Uh, most people don't notice that there is twin turbo on it. They'll see the exhaust sticking out and they'll kind of go, what, that's kind of weird. Why is that exhaust out there? And then they'll come around and they'll slowly figure out that it is twin turbo. We came here with the guys at Speedway Motors and we've got, uh, these are all the parts that we purchased from Speedway on this build. There's countless other parts, but these are just the ones that came from Speedway. If you guys wanna give my channel a follow, it's a Full Throttle Performance Speed Shop on YouTube. And uh, on Instagram, I believe is FTP underscore speed underscore shop. Inside in the interior, um, you know, I wanted to try to keep it as close to factory looking as possible so we kind of bent all the metal so that kind of had the boxy design like the original stuff did um, some of the biggest challenges with this was definitely getting the v8 stuck in there it's uh, shoehorned in there there was a lot of cutting and then even more cutting and then even more cutting to get this thing to fit in here but it fits it uh, actually goes down the road a lot better than most people think it would with an 85 and a quarter inch wheelbase um, it only gets a little dicey, about 100 miles an hour, and you hit the brakes real hard. So other than that, uh, we're on low boost right now, and it's making 517 horsepower. Wow. Yeah. So we pretty much had to fabricate a lot of this stuff in here. The wheel wells, in order to get the 20s to tuck, this stuff's all been um, rolled and formed. About the only part that's original is the area behind the seats and then this this area here where the door closes otherwise all this has been fabricated in the garage how loud is it i don't know we can start it <laughs> hashtag twin snail mail Hold on here. I got a trade with you. Can I have that? Absolutely. I'm going to give you this camera. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to just kind of bully my way in here because I have to sit in this thing. This is a dream come true for me. Um, so I got to just like check this out. Oh my gosh. It feels right. It yeah. feels so good. It's got a tilt steering column so you can move that down to make it comfortable. Yeah. It's old GM column. You got cup holders. Your engine is right there. Like that's that's where it is. If you you want to see it, you just open a door. Like that's the coolest thing ever. And honestly, you can see so well out of this thing. It driver side's a little sketchy. Or yeah, dri okay, yeah, the driver side may, might be a little weird. Hold your head out the window. Hey, you know what? It's kind of a weird Jeep. It's kind of a weird anything and it is awesome so hey you guys if you want to see this thing driving i know we started it but if you want to see this thing driving and doing really cool stuff it is i gotta read it here full throttle performance speed shop on youtube go and give them a subscribe check them out on instagram um, i'll post everything down below you can find all of these links down below i'll do my best to put the whole list of all the parts down below as well and as always make sure you like share and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next one